Hello and welcome to Netlink Daily. There is non-E3 news today, but E3 news will still have a pretty big presence today, so let's get started. Building a PC is a creative process. Cooler Master's Mastercase series lets makers take their build further with the free form modular system. Make it yours. Make it Cooler Master. After weeks and weeks of leaks and renders and what ifs and whatnots, the OnePlus 3 is here. Yes, the newest flagship from OnePlus has been released and it's starting to look like it could be the best Android phone around. Spec wise, the 3 will have a Snapdragon 820 CPU with an Adreno 530 GPU, a 5.5 inch AMOLED 1080p display with Gorilla Glass 4, 6 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, 16 megapixel rear camera with optical image stabilization, a fingerprint reader water repellent nano coating, a 3000 milliamp hour non-removable battery, a USB type C port, a headphone port, a, it's also available in graphite or soft, soft gold, that's the thing, soft gold, all this plus it runs on oxygen OS based on 6.1 marshmallow. The phone also has dash charge which is OnePlus's version of fast charging tech that gives a 63% charge to the OnePlus 3 in just 30 minutes. The OnePlus 3 will be $399 with no invite needed for purchase. What do you guys think of the OnePlus 3? Is it perfect? Does it look too much like a HTC phone? Do you hate it? Leave a comment down below. At this year's PC gaming show, AMD CEO Lisa Su revealed two new cards to go with its RX Polaris cards, the RX 470 and the RX 460. Now the 470 is a card that focuses on excellent performance per watt. The 460 is aimed towards more MOBA type games. Lisa declined on mentioning specs or even release dates for the 470 and 460. Also at the show, AMD showed off an Alienware reference design VR backpack. No other details on that either, except for the fact that it had a RX 480 with all the required PC hardware inside. So let's hope we see something more later on. At E3, a whole bunch of stuff was announced for the Sony press conference. Here's what they had to show off. God of War 4 is just going to be called God of War and Kratos has a pretty cool beard. Hideo Kojima revealed a new PS4 project called Death Stranding starring Norman Reedus. The Last Guardian finally gets a release date and it's October 25th, 2016. Final Fantasy XV will be coming to VR where you can play as Prompto, one of Noctis's three companions. Then we had trailers shown off for Horizon Zero Dawn, Detroit Become Human, Days Gone is a post-apocalyptic game, Call of Duty shared their Infinite Warfare gameplay trailer, Insomniac Games showed off their version of Spider-Man, Crash Bandicoot is being remastered for the PS4, the full game for LEGO Star Wars 7 is out in two weeks, finally a bunch of PlayStation VR stuff. Resident Evil 7 will support VR, Batman Arkham VR is coming, as well as Farpoint and there will even be a Star Wars Battlefront x wing VR missions. And the 399 PS VR system will have 50 launch titles. Whew. It's time for. Thank you, Nitro Edits. I appreciate that you made this as a 21 by 9 ratio video. Send in a version of Lightning Round and you may get featured on Netlinked. Alienware is celebrating their 20th anniversary with the launch of some new gaming desktops and a gaming notebook. In Nintendo news, the new game trailer for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild got shown off and... Whoa. The upcoming Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon will have a new Battle Royale mode. It's basically a four-way match where four Pokemon enter. One Pokemon leaves. Oh my god, Pikachu with the elbow drop! <laughs> Twitter adds a new feature where you can retweet and quote yourself. I don't think anyone's gonna use that. Unless you're gonna have a conversation with yourself. In which case, you will use that. The Facebook Messenger app for Android can now replace your texting app. I personally won't use it. And finally, Crucial released the MX300 SSD, the first drive to be equipped with 3D NAND arranged in a TLC configuration. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post, linked in the description. Tanto vera gatta arrado che ce la shallo zampino. Something about a pitcher and a handle? Just a friendly reminder to all NCIX fans, remember to vote for Team NCIX in the Intel Rig Challenge for a chance to win one of seven custom PCs. This means a lot to us and we want to make it to the finals at PAX Prime. I mean, PAX West. 
Anyways, we want you to have the chance to bring this epic build home. We will unveil sneak peek of the parts and special mods we're using on our social media pages, so be sure to check them out. For more details on how to vote now, click here or in the description, and remember that you can vote every day for your favorite team. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and buy some sunscreen. I'll be in Vegas this weekend for EDC, so the next time you see me on Netlink, I may have a tan. Or just be really, really sunburned. Just so you're not like alarmed or anything that I come back a few shades darker. You guys don't care. See you later.